you don't get your interview now, you're going to miss out on your clout. You know so I'm get saying? your clout now. Now, now. Go now. Outside all summer. Now, now. We Come now. Hi, you guys. I'm your host, Nikki Burke, sir. <laughs> oh, like they ain't going to be prepared for this. And I'm here with Katrina, Theron, Gladys. All right. How you guys liking DreamCon today? Good, good. It's been a little short day, but yeah. it's been good. Yeah. Very eventful, but you know, like I said, good story. Yeah, it's been chill. Very chill. Right. Can you tell us about your cosplay? So, I am Steven Universe's lion. Okay. Yes. We're all Steven Universe. I'm Blue Diamond. I am from Steven Universe. I'm Stevani. Hey, I love it. I love it. Hi, right, it's your girl, Nikki Barks. Arf, arf, arf. And I'm here with Curly Otaku. Nice to meet you. Okay. Can you tell me about your cosplay? I am Misa from Death Note, but a little twist. We got our sex note. So. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so, if you write your name in the book, you get vanilla sex for the next three times y'all have sex. But, if you write your name in the book with, you know, details of what you want, it'll come true. Ooh. I like that better than death. You got a pen? You can put my name up in there. I got you. <laughs> okay, so, are you having fun at DreamCon? It's overwhelming. It, it's my first time. It's really overwhelming. It's kind of confusing, but I'm having fun. I've seen um, King Vader. I've seen Mark. I'm trying to see Barlizzi with his fine self. Oof. Girl, I saw a picture of him and some overalls, and I was like, oof. Look, okay. Fine. He just don't know it yet. <laughs> oh, you hear that, Barlizzi? I'm crying. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what inspires you to cosplay? Um, <clears throat> a, being a um, black woman, especially a curvier black woman, it's kind of hard finding cosplays, you know, that fits your body type and everything, but like, it's a little, it, little girl in me just wants to just prove that she could cosplay and be like anybody else, so, and I mean, who wouldn't want to be somebody else for, the, for a day, so. I enjoy it. It's like playing dress up, you exactly. know? Exactly. Like, okay, and so what's some advice that you will give to uh, someone looking to get into cosplaying? <clears throat> No matter who you are or what you got going on, you could cosplay anybody you want to be. I don't want to hear, oh, this person isn't this ethnicity. Oh, they're not this. They're not tall. They're not short. They're... Cosplay is whatever you want it to be. It's your imagination. It's your vision. So don't let nobody tell you different. Felt that. Okay. All right. So, you know, I feel like, you know, us girls, we got to stick together. Like, do you have more guy friends or more lady friends? I have more guy friends, um, but my bestest friend is a girl. So, but I would say I have more guy friends. Being in the streamer community, I feel like I run across more men than women. Mm -hmm. Try to change that. But, uh, yeah, I would say more guys. All right, all right. We are back here straight at DreamCon with the real... Risky Vixen, baby. And it, can you tell us what you cosplaying as today? Okay, I'm cosplaying to myself. Popping out as my risky vixen persona. You feel me? The key to life is to take risk. And if you're not taking risk, you a biscuit, baby. Uh. What's a biscuit? Okay, so look, a biscuit. So listen, y'all, let me break it down for you. Up here, you got a brain, right? That's your medulla oblongata. If you're not using your brain, I mean, you're using yeast. Nothing but bread. You feel me? Don't, don't use no biscuits up here. Biscuit. Biscuit head ass energy. We don't do that. We don't, we don't do that. So you got to use your medulla oblongata. If you're not using your medulla oblongata, you a biscuit. Bread. Bread. Okay, okay, so what's been your best thing you've done so far at DreamCon? My best thing? My best thing? Was probably that little interview just now. Like, I did a little, uh, four balloon pop just now. Four balloon pop? Yeah, I had to think if it was three or four. Did it was a somebody? Yeah, I did. Okay, well, who you going out with tonight? Uh, I'm not, okay, I'm not going out with him tonight, but he a police officer. I don't know what anime he from, but he a police officer. He got a gun, like, okay, so you know, you know. He gonna protect your Yeah, he gonna be popping shit. I feel, I feel, I feel. Now, if you could improve DreamCon in one way, what would you do to make it better? I feel like there's too many entrances and exits to each event. So, like, if them, like, you know how exits, them exits can be entrances at the beginning of the events. You feel me? So you have different people coming in at the same time and then filling up the same sections. As long as you connect them with people and, like, on the walkies and shit to make sure people sit in the right places, everything will move much faster than what the fuck it is right now. Big fact. See what I'm saying? Big fact. Yeah. Do you have 
more guy friends than lady friends? No. No? Absolutely no. <laughs> I would say kind of, but if they are, they're from like the LGBTQ community. So it's kind of like, you know, I would say half and half. Okay, okay. What do you feel like your friends or the type of friends you have have to say about you as a person? sarcastic and like I don't know very I can be a little hard-headed sometimes <laughs> okay so it's like more so like so since you have a lady friend like so uh, what would they say about a woman who has more lady friends and guy friends versus a woman who has more guy friends and lady friends I feel like the common thing is people be like oh if you're a girl you have more like guy friends a lot of times like oh I want to hang out with girls because there's a lot of drama but I'm like if you as a person know how to like regulate yourself and know how to communicate especially your emotions or like any issues you have you really shouldn't have like a preference as to like what kind of group you should hang out with I feel like you should be able to get lo along with anybody I agree I agree that's a good one um, I want to say too like that whole stigma truthfully just needs to be dropped as well because like we are all grown adults if you don't have the common sense to be like I can't distinguish my feelings from like push pursuing forward to just friendship then shouldn't truly be a friendship. Being a blurred, you know, it's much easier to find the men than the women. Cause women be out there hiding. Let y'all nerdy this show. I'm trying to find y'all. So I think it's just much more easier. Cause I feel like women, they feel like they're harassed when, you know, when they get out. Oh, you don't watch anime. You don't play video games. So I, you know, you hear that, oh, you have more guy friends. You're a pick me. I'm not, I mean, I'm not looking for the guys. I'm, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get with the ladies. That's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to find. That's what I'm trying to find. Bump the guys. Do you have more men friends or lady friends? I have more men friends. Why do you think that? Well, actually, no. Can men and women just be friends? Men and women can definitely just be friends. Yes. You think that's the, the optimal way for us to be? I mean, like, I can't lie. As being humans, it's it's in our nature to be, you know, sexual at times. You know, that's that, it's our nature. So like, if things like sexual relations, then it is what it is. If you read deeper than that, it is what it is. If you don't, it is what it is. But at the same time, like everything is for experience and everything is about bonds. You feel me? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So why do you think it's hard for some women to make friends with other women? Huh. I say maybe it could stem from like jealousy or maybe they just haven't had like good friendships or relationships with women in their life like early on that's usually what I see or because um, I feel like if you're just kind of awkward overall or like you just kind of have like a personality like you're kind of shy it's kind of hard for you to make friends with either gender so I feel like when it comes to like you not being a woman and not making friends with women it kind of could stem from like maybe a bad experience for the most part at least from what I hear from like the people that I know that kind of do that from who I ran into or constant competition trying to bring the mother down I don't think it should really be like that I think it should be like we should all try to help and grow with as a, you know what I mean together so. why do you think it's so hard for some women to be friends So I've dealt with women that's like, <clears throat> why are you talking to me? Why are you? Yes, I've literally like, oh my, it's been areas and spaces I've been in where the women were just so standoffish and the guys were a lot nicer, you know, or they were more reserved. And I'm friendly, I swear, I'm not going to buy it. I'm just trying to look at your beautiful self and just get to know you. So I feel like women are more protective of their space, but I understand 
why they're more protected space because it's space they worked so hard for. So I can understand that, but yeah, that's just my experience. Look at this. Why do you think it's so hard for ladies to just be friends with each other? Oh Lord, have mercy. Lord, just like me, I got a lot of emotions. Just I don't, I don't want a girl myself because that's another woman with a lot of emotions. I, I need all that. I can barely understand my own emotions, so I ain't trying to understand it. I'm not, it's not that I'm not trying to understand another woman's emotions. I know she damn near don't know what she got going on either. So it's just like, either we figure it out together or we don't. But the ones that I do figure that shit out with, then shit, like, we just bonding. Like, you know, that's a bond. Like, we building up together. But yeah, it's a lot of competition. There's a lot of envy and, like, women are raised different. Like, I was raised to uplift women. I wasn't raised to compete with women. A lot of women see like they see compete, competing and they don't have that brain development where like they don't have that brain development where like they don't have that brain development where like you just supposed to like nurture one another they have that standoffish be cold to bitches like yeah these bitches don't support you so don't support them type shit no just put, put out good positivity and you'll get that shit right back uh, it's it, life life comes with up and get, up and down you wouldn't have good without the bad in life. So, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like, shit, making friends. Make make friends with who you can. Natural fucking bonds is the best. Natural bonds. If that bitch breaks, it wasn't supposed to continue. Type shit. If that bond break, you build another one. Type shit. Okay. What would you consider... Okay, okay. What would you consider a pick-me woman? Mm, somebody who goes out of their way to make themselves seem like the best option for like men or well okay yeah for really I would say more so for the male gaze I feel like that's more where the pick me comes from versus like you trying to get a woman's gaze or anything like that at the detriment of like other women around them especially if it could be like their friends or like their associates or like their co-workers so like you'll do anything to like put yourself above the next woman so you can feel like you're at the forefront of like the attention or you feel like you're better than them or like anything like that I kind of feel like that's more so what it is You're doing great. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, why are women called bitches for acting masculine, and why are men called a bitch for being feminine? Because somebody put it out there in the universe, so that's how it goes. Women, women can be masculine, and men can give into their femininity. We just have discussion about guys who are painted nails. Guys, go get your nails manicured. And ladies, it's okay to be tough. Sometimes we are put in spaces where we have no choice but to be masculine and tough. It's okay to be either way. It's okay to be a man in touch with your feminality. That doesn't make you a bitch, though. So anybody that says them, tell them to eat your ass. So uh, why are some women proud to be the, quote, bitches or, like, the mean girl? I feel like that's a defense mechanism. I feel like it's easier for them to be the bitch or be the mean girl, probably because they were deemed that and it's a type of armor they put on. But I'm telling you right now, the meanest girls have the softest hearts. Don't believe it for a second. Why are women called bitches for acting more masculine and men called a bitch for being feminine? Okay, so I'm a, I'm a tomboy at heart. Why you talk like that? It's like it's like that. You supposed to be a bitch. Like like they gonna call me mean because I'm like headstrong. Like I I'm not I'm not a ditzy ass bitch. Like I I'm not a waterhead. Look I say waterhead ass hoe. Okay. But like like that's literally like they be walking around here. Like I said like I was talking about before. There's, these girls are not built with substance in their brain. But that's not their fault. That's what they grew up with. They had no choice but to do that. But that's why that's where that experience comes from. Like be around some that has that shit with you so you that shit rubs off on them but like as far as them niggas oh, i'm sorry <clears throat> them uh the men the men's is the men's is uh being called up <clears throat> you said bitches bitches for being feminine i can't lie a man being a, tapped in with his feminine side has 
nothing to do with being sassy or being called a bitch. If you're being fucking feminine, that means you tripping. That means you tripping. You know how bitches be tripping? A nigga can be tripping on that shit. Like, a nigga can be tripping on some bitch shit. So that's all I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just a mind frame. It's just a mind frame. You see what I'm saying? I got you. I don't know. I don't I got, know. Listen, I got you, Keith. So listen, I would just say you got to have your shit in order as a man. You can't be out here too emotionally involved in all the other shit. You got to have your head on straight and have a plan. If you ain't got a plan, you're going to fall without one. Exactly, because even girls got their own plan. They have their own plan unless they don't. That's when that fight or flight pops in and they become a bitch. You see what I'm saying? Like, a nigga just start yelling. Then you go a bitch. Like, why are you fucking yelling? Like, calm your ass down. Fuck. Do you feel like the women who are like... masculinity like it's like female toxicity at times it can be. it depends like if you're just if I come up and say hey to you and you're blatantly like what the fuck are you looking at it is toxic but like I said I think it's more or less they've been hurt and it's hard for them to let they walk their walls down but I can see how it can be toxic in that way so I would say yeah in a way why are women so pr why are some women so proud to be called bitches Oh shit, I'm a bitch. <laughs> no, but you proud, so you proud. You one of them. I'm a proud bitch, I ain't gonna lie. But I I just didn't like I I done reframe that word. Like, I'm big dog. Like I'm a I'm a I'm a risky bitch. Like I'm out here risking it. Like top bitch, top status, like H N I C type. Okay. H B I C head bitch in charge. Head nigga in, you feel me? Gotcha. Change the narrative, you feel me? That's how, that's how I feel that. But so you don't think that's a toxic version of femininity? I can't lie. I can't lie. I don't take bitch. I don't take bitch as negatively no more. If you call me like a pussy, and I'll be like, oh, who the fuck you talking to? But if you call me a bitch, I am a bitch. The fuck you talking about? Like I am a bitch. I am. You caught the right one tonight. <laughs> Look, the, the risky one. You want? Okay. You feel me? Yeah. So like, I don't. I don't see no. You feel me? I don't see nothing in that. I don't see nothing in that word, bitch. Like no. Hell no. Women who please men shamed by other women. Um, I feel like it could be a multitude of things. I feel like it depends on why they're pleasing the man. Like, if you're trying to please the man from like a pick me standpoint, then I can see why other women be like call you out on it. Be like, okay, that's not cool. Stay but then like, <laughs> again, if you like have a good man and y'all have like a good relationship, some women have just like never had that or don't know what that's like. Even in like. Maybe their relationships with like their men and their family are like their close friends, so they might be a little jealous of that or envious of that, of being like, oh, I wish I could have that, but it's never came to me, or maybe it's never came to me as easy as they see it come to other women around them. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question again? <laughs> Why are women who please men shamed by other women? I guess another outlook too is that some women can feel envy. I, think, I don't know if you really kind of explain that. Some women may feel like really envious because they don't get that attention. So just like bitter about it and want to bring other women down and don't know how to um, appreciate themselves. Well, sorry, that's kind of, that's a little upfront. But <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You know, you can say how you feel. But, I mean, that's essentially what it is. They don't know how to please themselves in a way that they don't have to think about other women or the situation that they're, that, that other woman is in where they have to feel that envy and that jealousy. But. Basically, yeah. Yeah, I would say they're just haters. <laughs> they're just haters. <laughs> okay, kind of right. haters. So, let me ask you this one then. Why are women who please their men shamed by other women? It's risky, and I'll be damned. So it might as well. I might as well. Like, you know, just build up the eyes. That my bitch. Goddamn, how long you been standing there? 
car, y'all. Hold on. Mm. Oh, fuck. How long she been standing there? For a long time. Damn. <laughs> fuck. Uh, mm. Sorry. Fuck. She fine as hell. Sorry, y'all. She fine as hell. Shit. Fuck. Well, come on, camera, for two seconds. Show off. Go off, ass death. How you doing? And what's your name, sweetheart? I'm Nene. Nene. all these last couple questions together if you don't mind. What's a pick me man? What's a, a pick, pick me? A man. Listen, Shit, he yeah, I got $5,000 right now. What you trying to do, mama? That's, that's a pick me nigga. That's <laughs> Literally, a like, why are you trying so hard? You ain't got to try that hard. You just got to get to know people. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> she put that on that smooth. She's like, I said, hey, good promo, good promo. <laughs> um, somebody, literally, I just think pick me just try too hard. Anybody that's trying too hard. Okay. Yeah, you can't try too hard if you just be a natural. by men, but have to bring down the women around her. That she has to highlight herself. And I feel like they try to dumb down their femininity to be one of the guys and be, you know, fit in with them. That's what I feel like it is. But you don't need to tear down other women to fit in with the guys. If the guys fuck with you, they fuck with you. You don't need to do all the extra stuff. Okay, so it makes sense, because uh, a lot of people think that being a pick-me is just like a woman who pleases her men to it. Tell me, what's a pick-me girl? Oh, God, have mercy. <sighs> God. The one that be sliding up and all shit, like, oh, my God, what are we talking about? Like, what's happening? Like, oh, my God, yeah, I was sitting on his lap last night. Like, girl, like, yeah, oh, yeah, I already know. Yeah, his dick is big. Like, yeah, girl, I already know. Like, that's a pick-me bitch. Okay. Like, bitch, ain't nobody asking you about, ain't nobody asking you about none of that shit. <laughs> trying to get attention. She's just saying shit to get attention. There's one thing, just getting attention on your own. But if you, like, oh, yeah, he did this. Oh, no, I, I wash my drawers in the shower. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I change my drawers every four hours. Oh, girl, you keep your drawers over four, more than four fucking hours? Like, oh, you're dirty. Bitch, you don't reapply deodorant every four hours? Bitch, you're dirty. Like, that's pick me, bitch. That's, like, weird. That's weird as fuck. But, yeah, okay. we don't do that shit. We ain't about that life, that's what you're saying? Okay, so. Wait, 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 but we still clean bitches out here, though. Don't, don't discredit me, we still clean. Yeah, how you, if you have to down other women to make yourself seem higher than them, baby, you already lost. You lost the sauce. Is there a such thing as a pick-me man? Yes, it definitely is. I have met a couple. It's the men, let me tell you, it's the men that are, A, surrounded by women, but they're always bashing other men. Uh-uh, girl, he do this, he do that. And the whole time, he's the most toxic one out of all the men. But they're trying to get into your head and make you feel comfortable, see that down the walls, so they can manipulate you later on. Do you feel like there's more of a, a natural brotherhood between men than there is of a sisterhood between women? differently, but I feel like 
as a woman, you kind of know when something's going on, you express that, and like, it's more comforting, more of a safe zone to express how you feel on the good and the bad, rather than like, men, like, even if they're doing sometimes something wrong and like you disagree as a friend, sometimes they don't say anything, you know, they just kind of let it be. So I feel like in a way that's kind of a disconnect. So rather than women, we call it out like, hey, what are you doing? This is incorrect, you know? So, yeah. Is there more of a natural brotherhood with men or a sisterhood with women? I think it's a natural brotherhood with men. I've literally seen guys argue, fight it out, and hug it and be kicking it all within 30 minutes of each other. Women, I'm sorry, we hold grudges. I can speak for myself. I can be cool with you. You say something I don't like. I don't like you. Now we fought, but now I have a grudge, and every time I see you, it's on sight. Like, I feel like women, we hold on to a lot more. I've literally seen guys cuss each other out and then be hugging and dapping up the next minute. Men are weird, but I'm envious of it. Yeah, I feel that. I still got beef from kindergarten. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I still got beef from a girl I fought in high school. So, I mean, I won that fight, just clarify, but still. <laughs> At least you won. Yeah, I won that one. All right, do you ladies think there's a more natural brotherhood, or is there a more natural sisterhood between women? Brotherhood, for sure. Brotherhood is definitely for sure. The niggas gonna stick together. Them niggas gonna fight. Girlies, nah, they stick together. They gonna... emotional sometimes like dudes they let shit go easily you could you They'll, could beat your brother ass and still be his brother he, five minutes later i done seen that shit before like, niggas girls, was fighting girls. and it made up five minutes later i beat like, her ass i never see her again <laughs> <laughs> but why you think that why, okay so why y'all hold so many grudges you think um, principal 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 i don't even think that's a girl thing everybody hold grudges <laughs> everybody hold grudges but i can't lie but uh, how you woman, act on that grudge as a but I can't lie, as a woman, like, we already go through enough, like, being women. It's dangerous as fuck being a woman. Yeah. So, like, why the fuck are we not all uplifting together? You yeah. see what I'm saying? So why the fuck is you coming against me? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. we gotta stay together. But they don't, they don't be on that shit. They be on that single shit. That's how they get snatched up. Everybody I, I, think they gotta be alone. Oh, no, no, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you get snatched up on purpose, but it's, it, we're stronger in numbers. Like, that's all I'm saying. And they don't get that. They exactly. Don't get that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be nice to your fellow woman. You feel me? men are much more judgmental than women? I would say they are because <clears throat> me being a woman, you know, oh, and my skirt's too short. Oh, she's a slut. And my skirt's too long. Oh, she's too modest. I wear makeup. Oh, I'm catfishing. I don't wear makeup. Oh, you look homely. You don't take care of yourself. You get your, you get, you wear wigs. Oh, you try to be somebody else. You don't wear wigs. Why your hair ain't done? I feel like women can never win. Women can never win when it comes to men. And men, I'm sorry, the thing that y'all think is natural, it ain't natural. Y'all just, <laughs> I've, I've done so many natural makeup looks. I'm like, oh, I, you don't have any makeup on. You're so gorgeous. I be lying. They got makeup on. <laughs> You know, I thought that was going in like BBL direction. That I mean, it's <laughs> nothing wrong with the BBL. I ain't hate it all. You know, you know, I'm not hating it all. But still, guys will be like, "Oh, I hate women that get BBLs," and then they're like, "Oh my God, she's so beautiful. She's so natural looking. Baby, she got a BBL." Like. <laughs> If you like it, you like it. There's nothing wrong with modifying yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. Whatever makes you feel good, as long as you're doing it for you, it don't matter what anybody else thinks. Do you feel like, in your experience, men are more judgmental than women? I feel like they can be both. I feel like it's pretty even. I feel like women can be a lot more judgmental without anybody asking. They can just say it. But like, if you ask if you like do anything to men or if you ask them anything, they'll go ahead and tell you straight up. Like they're not really gonna hold it back or anything like that. So I feel like they do judge. It's probably just not at like, yeah, it's like really 
just like kind of casual, like, oh, this is what I think. But like women is kind of more like, let me tell you. But men is just like, it is what it is. Like, and they just kind of expect you to take it. So yeah. Right. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I would say overall women are more vocal about it and like they are more expressive about it. And men, they're just like, whatever. And also I think it depends on personalities too. There's a lot of like yeah. men who they just mad because women don't pay attention yeah. to them. to someone who has trouble making friends? I would say don't be afraid to put yourself out there. If you have like problems making friends, I would say if you have hobbies or anything you like to do, like for anime, if, like for an example, go find like events doing that or find something that you know you like so it's more easier for you to like talk about it. So like if you're around people who are into the same thing, it'll be easier for you to like gravitate towards those people and start conversations with them. And then you also have like a common ground. So like it might not seem as hard or as difficult or as in like intimidating to really like be out there in the open or by yourself or even bring like a friend along so that you can get comfortable doing things like that. I think what people struggle with is their own mindset. I feel like you're a lot of people think that they're their worst enemy. So just kind of getting out of your head and out of your comfort zone. People, you have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations in order to get comfortable eventually. So rather than prolonging it, just kind of just step out, venture out, see what you like. Um, great example too, she said like finding common interest in other people. That way that's a good get you a starting basis on finding other hobbies and other interests that some other people could probably join in and collaborate with you as well. Yeah, I guess like also an extension besides like re, uh, getting out and you know trying to be more social. I would say also find people like not really change your personality or who you are as a person. I feel like a lot of new people, a lot, what they do, they try to like in a way camouflage with the people that they meet at first. And at the end of the day, like when like what's her like relationship with that person kind of goes in, they're like, well, I can't express myself about how I really am because they know me as this way. You know what I mean? And then there's that disconnect and such problems. So I feel like it's always best to be yourself regardless if like, you know, so you can tell early on if, you know, when you meet these people, if they're a good match for you or not. Why do women have a problem when it comes to women judging other women, but not so much when it comes to women judging men? <clears throat> I think it just goes back to the jealousy thing. I mean, there's lots of women. I'm just like, even here at the convention, I'm like, gosh, she is so beautiful. It's, it's an envy thing. But it's like, with men, we feel like we need to impress men sometimes. Not all of us, because me, I don't care. But I think it's, I think that's what it boils down to. And I think women do it as, yeah, as a jealousy thing, envy thing. It's a competition. Women are competitive. Very. Very. Why don't decent, good women of the world regularly call out or shame trash women the same as they treat trash men? I would have to say, what's a trash woman and what's a trash man? I think it all defines what that you think it is. Because somebody you might think is decent is a terrible person. Who am I to say? You never know. I mean, and I think, like I said, some women get envious. Why does this girl get away with it? And I don't. It's a, it's, I think it's still like an Emmy game, Emmy, Emmy numbers game. But we all we all have yin, yin and yang. We all got good. We all got bad. Like what, what, what they say, he was out seeing cast the first stone. I mean, that's how it is. Nobody can cast it. Nobody can cast it. Do you, would you ladies trust your man around other women? Yeah, I'm not the jealous type. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not the jealous type as long as we fucking the same bitch. Oh shit, that's who? That's, that's what it is? Okay. We gotta share. <laughs> like, like, uh, cause like I have the same male gaze that any, any nigga has. Like, any nigga has. But do you trust your man, or, I mean, do you trust other women around your man by himself? See, the problem is, it's not that I don't trust my man, I don't trust the girls. Cause you, first of all, if I can't trust you, you, I already know you came with them attentions. Just like I said, human nature, that human nature shit, yeah. that shit. Cause girls, they stick together. We humans. They what, that sexual energy, that sexual temptation, that infatuation, that, that shit is there. Yeah. That shit happened, that yeah. shit happened. It's raps after that. It's a rap. It's a rap. It's a rap. It's, so it's harder, I feel like it's harder for a bitch to open her legs besides the nigga sticking his dick in. See what I'm saying? Exactly. Yes. How do women 
How do we say we run the world, but at the same time, we're oppressed? I feel like if women really stood together and unified, we can, we can move mountains. I literally had a guy tell me that pussy runs the world. Like, that's really what it is. Pussy runs the world, and we can do anything, because we can have the men eating out our fingers. Who is that? I think that's a chakra. Okay.